Hello everyone, welcome to PyLin. In today's video, we are going to learn about performing arithmetic operations in object-oriented programming in Python. Now, I have already mentioned here different magic methods that will help us do arithmetic operations. For example, there is a underscore underscore add. Uh, these are basically dunder methods. So they start and end with double underscore. So there is add, there is subtract, sub, there is mul, multiply. There is true division where basically you are dividing one number with another. There is floor division where you are trying to get the quotient. There is modulus which basically returns us the remainder and there is the power. Let's now go ahead and experiment with it to understand how these things will work. So let's say I create a equal to number. I pass in 3. Then I do b equal to number. I pass in 2. Now, if I want to do arithmetic operations with this A and B instances, I either can write methods where I pass in the instances and then I do some kind of operations or I can have dunder methods like this so I can directly play around with A and B. So let's say I print A plus B. Then let's also print some other things A minus B. Then let's print A divided by B. Then let's print a multiplied by b let's try to do everything yeah so print a double divided by b so floor division and let's let's stop here i think this is enough so now when i run this you can see we are easily getting all the arithmetic values here so a plus b is 5 a minus b is 1 a divided by b is 1.5 a into b is 6 a floor division b is 1 so this is the advantage of using uh, dunder methods like this for arithmetic operation you can easily play around with the instances here without having to you know write special methods for each one of them now question is what if i have another instance here c so c number let's pass in 5 okay now if i want to add three instances let's go ahead and try this so i do a plus b plus c and then suddenly we have a type error. So basically our dunder method is not supporting more than two arguments, right? We are passing in three instances here and our dunder method is not supporting that. How do you do that? Basically there is another dunder method called as rad. So r add. So this basically means write addition, all right? So now you see it uh, pycharm autofills this dunder method and here understand the difference between add and rad in add when you pass in other it's basically an instance all right so the instance is going to have its instance attributes in this case uh, in this case it's dot x but in rad this is not an instance this is an integer itself so if you print let's say print type other and then here also we can do return self dot x plus other all right so now if we print this let's go ahead and run this you will see other prints out as class int and now we have the sum of all the instances so 3 plus 2 plus 5 is 10 and that's what we are getting so now we can have as many instances we want so let's say another number and we said 10 and now if you do a plus b plus c plus d let's run this and now we have 20 so basically this is how you can actually play around with more than just two instances using dunder methods like rad now if for dunder method add we have something like rad for other methods as well we have something that has an r appended to the front so basically for sub it's r sub for mul it's r mul for true div it is r true div basically I would highly recommend you to go ahead and play around with these kind of things. So I showed you for addition, you play around with subtraction, multiplication, true division, everything. And then you'll have a much better understanding of how arithmetic operations happen in object oriented programming and how you can play around with multiple instances. So I hope you like this video about arithmetic operations. I will see you in the next video.